snow day. Thousands of families have been left without power. So David Muir is out in the snow in New York. David? Charlie, good evening from the other coast here tonight. In fact, much of it is covered in snow here in the Northeast. Uh, up to a foot or more in some places, but this is hardly just a northeastern storm. The massive snowstorm barreled northward all along the east coast today, from Maryland to Maine, dropping more than a foot of snow in some places. It began with a miserable morning commute. Drivers struggled to see through their windshields. In Bridgeport, Connecticut, Rick sat on the side of Interstate 95, waiting for the worst to pass. There were countless accidents. A 25-year-old pregnant woman and her mother were killed near Boston when they crashed into a snowplow. Tonight, airline passengers are still stranded. Newark canceled 209 flights. JFK, 203 flights. At LaGuardia, another 200 more. And you could see why. This plane took off in a near whiteout. Plows worked overtime to clear the runways, but they couldn't keep up. I'm going to Madison, Wisconsin. This is a little weird. Supposed to be doing that there, not here. Gigi Stone is keeping watch at Boston's Logan Airport. They received more than a foot of snow. More than 120 flights have been canceled. Look at the board. There are more planes sitting here than there are going out. In Waltham, Massachusetts, plow drivers were out in force, including this 80-year-old veteran plower who bought his first snow plow in 1949. This has been a good year for people that are in this business. A rare bright side. Even in Washington, the White House was... <laughs> driven by a low pressure system from the north, pushing the system as far south as... <laughs> 